Hello and welcome back to Seconds Out. My name is Eamon Khan and I'm here today with the savage Alan Babich preparing for Bridgeweight World Title Action on April 22nd in Poland. Alan, good to see you. How you doing? Yes, brother, you said it all. Let's go. It's good just looking at Burj Khalifa through my window. Side. It's kind of a dream, you know, being here in Dubai, getting that round in. I've been sparring with some crazy fighters, crazy dudes. I love it. Learning boxing inside out. Yeah, Alan, you're in Dubai now. Um, you've got a new coach, I believe. Talk to you about this decision to change your uh, your coaching team and be, be in Dubai. Well, it, it wasn't really a decision, you know. With, with my last coach, I was he was my only coach I ever had in boxing, you know, and. Uh, we just kind of outgrew each other, you know. He didn't want to work with me. I didn't want to work with him. I didn't want to even look at him anymore. And I'm sure he he had the same idea of not working with me because it was all all shit, you know. It wasn't good. It wasn't good. And uh, ever since I signed with Dillian White, we weren't good. So that was my decision. At the end of the day, I get into the ring. It was my decision to go. With him into the professionals, and it was my decision to change trainers now. So it's all good. So who is your new coach, and what's the difference in your, in your? Is there a difference in your style now? What what are you learning with your new coach? Well, yeah, my new coach is Coach Chill. I call him Coach Chill. You know, I, I love him. We have a really good bond since day one. Uh, I met him at Okoli camp when I was in Dubai last year. And I, I saw something in him, and he saw something in me. And you know, he has he has like twenty two or twenty three world champions. So it's a very well known coach, and knows what to do. With me. And I just wanted him to bring boxing out to me. You know, I just don't want to slug it all. I, I love it. I love slugging it out, and I will have that always in my life. But I want somebody to bring out the boxing out to me. You know, it's a very hard thing to do when the savage takes over but i think this guy will be able to do it yeah that's interesting so you want to bring out the more boxing style in yourself you've been an entertainer with that slugging style beforehand you might disappoint your fans a little bit because they want to see you brawl though alan as well yeah but i'm gonna prove myself to all the others because i still have a lot of doubters i have many fans i love them all but I need to take care of the naysayers, you know. I need to show them. And I always wanted to show my boxing skills, but never really. I did my last fight, you saw some boxing skill, but I can do much better. I know I'm much better boxer than I show on, on, on some levels, you know. Mm -hmm. What I do is not slugging, it's boxing. But, you know, the, for the average Joe, I'm not even boxing. I'm just slugging it out. You know? So I want I want somebody to bring that out to me you know my, my former coach obviously couldn't or wouldn't or didn't know how to I don't know what but I'm hoping I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to listen to somebody <laughs> in the corner <laughs> well Alan uh, that took, that takes us to April 22nd Lucas Rosansky is in the opposite corner as you chase the WBC Bridgeweight world title here what challenge do you feel Rosansky presents to you that you'll have to overcome to get the win well, listen, this is the WBC title on the line. Can you imagine? I mean, people would die for that. For that shot. I would die for that shot before it was now. So I know what it means to him. And we are fight, fighting in his hometown, you know, his birth city. So it's going to be crazy. I think I will, I will have to go all the way to get this one. This guy is not going to stop. He's not going to forfeit like all the others, you know. Even Balski is a pole and he didn't forfeit. So I know what what I've been expecting. I what I can ex expect, you know. My last fight was in London in O2 Arena. That's my home. I consider that the savage home. And it was tough. But for now I'm going to the Wolf's Lair, you know. And I know what the poles are capable of doing. So I expect a bloodbath, a really bloodbath. So I'm gonna box. As long as my coach wants to and stuff, but the real fight is going to be won by Savage in the old school style. So you will not be deprived of anything. 
Are you are you are you happy to be going to Poland? Like you said, you've been boxing in your home over here in the UK, but you've got to travel to Poland. Uh, you've got to go on the road there to to uh, capture that world title. Are you happy to do that? Yeah, of course. Listen, Croatia is close to Poland, you know, and we we are similar nationalities, you know, hooligan like, you know. Uh, so I know them very much. I fought many poles on the streets, <laughs> many poles, and they're the toughest. MF I ever fought on the street, so I I have huge respect for them, for Balski and for all the others. I love them and they love me back, and I think I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be well there, you know. And I just wanna entertain. So they paid a lot of money for this fight to be in Poland. They outbeat the current match that doesn't happen very often. So I'm gonna give them a show. I'm gonna give them something to, to be good, you know, something to be remembered. Now, Alan, I look at your uh, record and you last fought out, it was uh, last year, but uh, the question I ask you is if you want more activity, but then I look at Rosansky and he hasn't fought since 2021 either, so maybe you have the edge there as well. Yeah, like you said, I've been very active for this kind of time, because you know these times are tough. Only Joshua's and Furies get to fight wherever they want. We don't. I ask for a fight every single month since I beat Balski in the last year, uh, it was almost a year now. And I've been asking for a fight every two months. Let, well, let's go, let's go, let's go. But there's just so many fighters and all of them get, get to go through, you know. I took like three years, I did 11 fights, so I'm happy. But I do want to be more active because it's my best years. And I, I'm i throwing them away on sparrings and stuff. So I love sparring, but, you know, it's not like the fight. I can make a lot more in fighting, but but it's okay. Listen, I got a shot, a WBC gold. So, so somebody would wait ten years for that, not just a year. So it's all good. It's all good. Speaking of the sparring, like you mentioned, you've been in with a Coley, you've been with Tyson Fury recently. Do you feel those spars have brought you on further as a fighter? Well, of course. I just part today. I sparred Jarrell uh, Baby Miller, and these other guys, crazy guy. Uh, how it was his, I forgot his name, but he's very good. So I've been fighting a lot of guys, and I love that uh, experience. I think nobody has experience like I do in sparring. You know, I just went in with anybody. I can fight three ways, four ways, whatever. You know, so sparring Jarrell Miller was definitely an experience. He was the heaviest guy I ever fought, like 150 kilos. You know, something crazy. So it's 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 great. We did eight rounds in two days. You know. So like I said, sparring is my life, boxing is my life. So if I don't fight, then I spar and that's all I can do. I can't do much more. But I would like to be much more active. I think it's gonna be oh, that way after this fight. I'm gonna be a world champion. So I hope then somebody will fight me. <laughs> Alan, you mentioned there, Jarrell Miller, you've been sparring Jarrell. He's going to be fighting Lucas Brown in Dubai very soon. Are you going to go to that fight? What do you think of th that fight between the two? Yeah, I'm going to be there for sure. I, I get along really good with Jarrell. I saw him only two times, and he called me to be in his locker room and stuff, and house to, to help him get to the ring and uh, all the stuff. So I'm going to be there with him. I like Lucas Brown also. We, we, we were supposed to fight each other once. But uh, something about COVID went up and he didn't, couldn't fly, fly from Australia. I don't even remember. So I know them both and I think he's going to get a good fight. I think it's a very really good fight. Two guys meeting at a perfect time. You know, Jarrell is not in top, top shape, top shape, uh, top shape of his life. Uh, Lucas Brown definitely past his prime. So you know, see, two big punchers. You know, I think it's going to be a good fight. I think it's going to be a great fight. Alan, we're also wanting a, a great fight in the form of Fury versus Usyk, but it doesn't seem to be happening right now. Have you kept kept um, up to date with what's happening there, the negotiations between the two? Tyson Fury's on Twitter saying a lot of things, so is Usyk as well, but we're not getting the fight right now. Of course, I saw it. Like I said, I'm team Tyson Fury because you know he took me as his friend, you know, and I'm really grateful for that, and I'm, I'm honored to be his friend, so... Whatever he say, I'm gonna be behind Tyson. But 
it's the, it's a tough situation. So we can't really know what's happening. We can only guess, you know. And I don't know even what to guess, you know, because this is the, this is the biggest boxing fight in the last twenty years. So you know, it's crazy to 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 come down to to Instagram posts and uh, you know stories and stuff. It just shows you how the world has changed. You know that they're mentioning all of these uh, stupid things that fighter before didn't even know about. You know, but th that's the kind of kind of place today because I have to be everything. I have to be accountant and uh, lawyer and uh, the judge and uh, everything and defense. So the boxer has to be so many things today. It's crazy. Do you think we get the fight eventually between the two? Do you think they will fight each other? I think I think that's what that's what Fury wants to fight to I think that's the reason we're gonna we're gonna get the fight because Tyson Fury is the biggest draw in the boxing right now. I think so. I think I think it's gonna gonna be a fight. I think Fury is just uh, how I said pulling them by their their pants right now, <laughs> enjoying himself, you know, the way Tyson does. So I think we're gonna get, we're gonna see a fight eventually. Alan, if Fury doesn't fight Usyk for whatever reason, Philip Hergovich might be next to fight in line to fight Usyk. What do you think of that fight? Uh, yeah, he is very inactive. I don't know that it's not good for him, not good for our country of creation, not good for boxing, not good for anybody. So I would like to him to continue his career so we can organize a big fight in Croatia. I need him to be active. I need him to be good. I, 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 I'm I going to become a world champion in my next fight. So I'm not going to fight him if, if he's still nobody. So I would like him to be as much, to get as much uh, chances of greatness as, as he can get. You know? He's my fellow Croatian, after all. Mm -hmm. And moving on to your good friend, uh, Dillian White. I spoke to Eddie Hearn. Uh, the other week, and Eddie said that um, White's hoping to get a fight before he fights Joshua again. It could be Otto Wallin, Hergovic, Ruiz, or Dempsey McKean. Which fight would you like to see Dylan White in? You say Otto Wallin, Hergovic, Dempsey McKean. I don't know. I was going to see Wagner versus White. <laughs> That's my tip always. And I think White would do some damage there. So I, I, like, I like it to be Wilder. Mm -hmm. I don't know why he will fight them. I know him. He was in the sparring cup with my guy. Good guy, but I don't know why he will fight him. Maybe Wilder or Joshua. So I think, I always think Dillian as a superstar. You know? Not like myself to, to have to go through these guys. He went through them like 10 times already. You know? So I think he's only there for the big fights, mm -hmm. in my opinion. And Alan, you, you, your thumb's just on the volume, I think. Oh, it's better now. That's better, yeah. Um, Alan, i got to ask you, bringing it back to yourself, that fight with Dave Allen, is that still there between you two? Ah, it's funny. What, what do you want me to tell you, brother? I'm telling you the same stuff for the last three years, three and a half years, so... Nothing is happening. He's still fat. He doesn't train. He doesn't want to train. Doesn't want to chip in hours. Doesn't want to do nothing. I'm leaving boxing. He's not. Who knows what he's doing? I don't even care. I forget about it. But whenever he wants to, I'm there. I, like I said many times, in Croatia, the fight is Krivovic versus Babic. I'm always there if they want that fight in Croatia. For the UK fans, it's day one. So, I'm always there. Whatever I do, whatever I do, whatever. If I'm the world champion soon or not, whatever, whenever, me and Devo can fight for the UK fans. I'm always going to do that fight. Final couple of things I wanted to ask you. Francis Ngannou might join the heavyweight mix, Alan. Have you watched Francis Ngannou MMA? Do you think he can come to boxing and have success? Well, I think those guys that cross... Sports end badly, most of them. Mm. Most of them end very bad, so I don't. But if he does do that, he's going to be for maybe Tyson Fury or Joshua or Wilder. So, so 
I don't really think about it. I have my own path. Mm -hmm. I'm an old school boxing guy, so I don't do those those things. Mm -hmm. Alan, final thing I want to ask you then. April 22nd, Lucas Rosansky. Are you promising the victory to your Savage Army? Oh, my God. I'm promising a war. I can never promise you victory. I can promise you I'll be the best shape of my life, by far. In the best physical and mental shape. I, I, I'm, I'm crazy. My resting pulse is 36. So you know what that means. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. So I've been working on some new stuff, you know, measuring and stuff. So I like it. I kind of like it. And uh, I'm going to see a uh, new old Savage 2.0. Alan, the pleasure speaking to you. Thank you for speaking to Seconds Out. Wishing you all the best for April 22nd. I'll be watching. Thank you so much. Thank you, brother. Peace.